So to recap what we've already done and what we reviewed today, if you're in class, um, we know that the sine ratio is the same thing as the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is the same as thing as the y divided by the r, right? The y coordinate at that point divided by the r. And then, of course, we also know that we learned that um, the sine is the same thing as the y if y coordinate if the radius is 1 on the unit circle, okay? And then for the cosine, the cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse or the x side over the radius, which, and we also learned that the cosine is the same as the x coordinate if the radius is 1. Okay, so now we're going to extend this to, to four other trig ratios. So out of the book on, on this is an out of section 5.4, um, we know that the tangent function, now if you think about this, if you, if you think about some work that you've already done, and you did back in ninth grade, and you learned about SOHCAHTOA, where the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent ratio is the same thing as the opposite side over the adjacent side. Well, if we want to talk about this in terms of this circle thing, we know the y over the x. That's what they're leading you to in the book. All right. And then the secant, not, so that's, that's that. And, and so that's pretty straightforward, nothing new. The secant is reciprocal of the cosine. So remember how the cosine was... The, the cosine was uh, x over r. Well, the secant's going to be r over x. What's nice about this is if you know the cosine, you just take the reciprocal. You flip it, and that'll tell you the, tell you the secant. Um, cosecant is reciprocal of the, of the sine, so 1 over sine. Now, one way to remember this is that s always goes with c. All right, so you see how that works? If you're looking for the secant, that's reciprocal of the cosine. If you're looking for the cosecant, that's reciprocal of the sine. S goes with C. So to come back to this, the cosecant's the same as the radius over the Y coordinate. So it would be this side over this side. Cosecant uh, and secant would be this over X. The cotangent, well, if these are the reciprocal of the sine and the cosine, what do you think the cotangent's reciprocal of? I'm hoping you said tangent. So if I know the tangent, you take the reciprocal, flip it, and that'll be your, your, your cotangent. So cotangent is x over y, or adjacent over hypotenuse. They, they develop these for different models. Uh, they're good to know. Sometimes they're easier. Not hard. So now let's do some evaluating. I'm going to move the screen up. So for the first one, they want us to find the tangent of 45. Well, I know if I've got a 45 degree angle, that's here, right, in the first quadrant. I also know the reference angle is 45. So if you use some of those, those notes, this is going to be... Uh, uh, square root of 2, square root of 2, and 2. So the tangent happens to be, remember, it's y over x. So y over x, well, root square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 is 1. And that will always happen when I have a 45-degree angle. The tangent of 45 is 1. Now we're going to find the secant of root of 5 pi over 6. So we're going to draw a little graph. Let's see, what's 5 pi over 6 look like? Well, remember, this is 6 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 won't be quite that far. And you know from that work we did with the bingo game, the reference angle will be pi over 6, right? And that's the same thing as 30 degrees, because remember, 180 divided by 6 is 30. So if this is 30, 30 degrees, that means this is 1, this is the square root of 3, and this is 2, that has to be negative. 
Now we're looking for the secant. We know the secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, or r over x. So there's r, here's x. So we could write this as negative 2 over the square root of 3, which is an okay answer. Uh, old school, we don't like having radicals in the denominator, so that will force us to rationalize it by multiplying by root 3 over root 3, because it's the square root of 3 in that denominator that's the problem child. So that would become negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. And that's probably the kind of answer that Math Excel or my open math will be looking for. Okay? And that's that. So now I'm going to have you try to do the same kind of thing with the find the cosecant of 7 pi over 6. Make the sketch, figure out your reference angle, figure out your sides, go for it. Okay? So you should stop this video, try that problem, and then come back and watch the rest. So to do this rest, I know that 7 pi over 6 will end up about here. I know the reference angle is pi over 6, which is the same thing as 30 degrees. So that's negative 1, that's negative square root of 3, and that's 2. Now cosecants, the reciprocal of the sine, or r over y, so r is 2 y is negative 1, and so that just becomes negative 2. Okay, so now go ahead and try those problems on the next page. I'll have the answers online for you to check.